Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jessica. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions from a brand that I've actually never ordered from before. This is Winky Lux, and this package is so cute because it's like pastel lilac. It's got logo on that side, but on this side, on the label, it has flowers, dogs, you can see, and then the little lipsticks that they have. And that's what I first heard of them for, is that they have uh, lipsticks and lip glosses and little pill-shaped tubes, and then they also have the, the lip, lip balms that um, are clear and they have a little flower inside of them, which is really cute, but I got something a little different, so I thought, I thought this was cute on the outside, but the inside, oh my gosh, so it's teal and it has beautiful flowers that are like gilded around the edges, it's so gorgeous and it says, but first, makeup. That's so cool. And the paper is branded as has their logo on it. Okay. And then oh my goodness. Everything is just adorable. So this is well, this is the lipstick that I got. And it looks a lot like the box, the pink instead. one of their matte lipsticks. And then I also got a eyeshadow palette. So and then they have pink bubble wrap and then it's got a little poodle sticker on it. It's so cute. So not even the tape was boring. Very impressed. Okay. And so this is really a pretty small palette. It's a nine Shade palette. And it's called the Mermaid Kitten Palette. I think all of their palettes are called Kitten Palettes. But it has kitten mermaids on it. It's so cute. And then on the back it has all the shades. And it is cruelty free, which is great. I'm trying to only buy cruelty free makeup. So Everything I got was um, thirty dollars. I got a um, I think it was a ten percent off coupon from an app that I use called Sweatcoin, which <laughs> sounds kind of weird, but um, it's a step counter app, and then for every two thousand steps that you take, it sends them through its little converter, and then it gives you certain number of coins and then you can redeem the coins for different things so you can't directly transfer them into money yet they say that that's coming but um you can get different offers and things so i've got this and then the um i just said it was like a face free thing i got a free month of it and then i also got my um deck of scarlet subscription i got um a coupon for a certain percent off of that as well so it's pretty cool and then they have they have different offers every day so this isn't sponsored by them but kind of <laughs> because I got this because it was an offer on the app so here is the inside thing it doesn't have a mirror which is fine I have a mirror <laughs> And it has like little scallops, like uh, mermaid scales on it. It's really cute. So that's what the shades look like. And the names are really cute. So I'll swatch it. And then I'm gonna do a look with it. So I'll also show you the lipstick that I got. So the first color is called Sand Dollar. And it's like you would expect. It's a pretty sandy shade. But it's also got a pearl to it. So that's sand dollar. It looks really reflective. 
more than you would expect. They're next to they're called sea foam and it's a really pretty white duochrome. So the shade itself isn't showing up as much. Like the white kind of disappears, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. But it's a really nice pinky reflect to it. Let me block out the first shade. If that helps. I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. But it's a really nice pinky glittery highlight to it if you can tell. It's pretty subtle, subtle but that'd be a good right in your corner highlight. The next shade is called Topless. And it's a really pretty pink duochrome. Like in the pan it looks like it'd be darker but it's more purple. But, and then you can kind of see in between there's the, the sea foam. So those colors are all pretty light. The next one is called Pink Sands. It's really pretty peachy pink. But maybe I'm just not swatching hard enough. Not sure. So there is pink. Pretty light pink. And the ne next color is called Ursula. That's a really pretty dark purple. Maybe these shadows are just pressed really hard, so it's not super, super showing up. So, the next color is Under the Sea. It's a dark navy blue with some shimmer in it, so that one's showing up a little more. Next is Siren. It's a really pretty like, sea foam kind of green with some shimmer in it. That's really pretty. And then the next one is Seaweed. It's like a deep forest green and it's a matte. And last is Treasure. So it's really pretty like antique looking gold. It's like a like, greenish tint to it. That's really pretty. So that's all nine shades. So you get a good mix. So we only got two mattes, but then you got some, some foiled ones and the duochrome. So it's really exciting. Okay, before I put on the eyeshadow, I'll show you the lipstick because I almost forgot about it. So this is their lip velour. This is in the shade Dandy, so it's purple. So, if I can get this in without ruining it. No! <laughs> Try not to rip it. Like sometimes. Okay. Uh, like I know it's just a plastic, plastic, cardboard box, but I like to keep things in their package, at least for a little while. Okay, so this is really. So that's what it looks like. It's a little, little gold and silver pill. It says Winky Looks, and then it has a little like lace detail almost. I think so. That's the cap. And then okay, it, so it doesn't of course have the sticker on the bottom that says the color, but it says it here on the tube. So. Like I said, this is the shade Dandy. It's really pretty dark purple. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Um, I've been doing that occasionally. I'll put on a lip color before. It just smells like lipstick. Like a lot of lipsticks smell like something candy or otherwise, but. So it's pretty pigmented. It is very matte, which is good. That's what I 
टेक्स्ट वेक्टर It feels pretty comfortable. It's so weird. They aren't used to the like typical lipstick smell anymore. <laughs> There's so many different kinds of smell. Like something like Kat Von D smells like cream brulee and stuff. But yeah, I really like it. it smells very pretty. Goes with my hair, which is being re dyed. <laughs> okay. But yeah, like I was saying. I've started if I'm having gonna wear a really bold lip color, like the well, color pop lips that I'll show you whenever I do that review. I will uh, put on the lipstick first, so that I don't like do an eye look that's gonna completely go crazy and not go with it. So let's see what we can do with this palette. I don't have on any primer. Maybe I should, but I'm not going anywhere today. <laughs> Probably. So I don't really mind. I know I'm all up in all up in the way here, but I uh, cannot see now without my glasses. So let's just take um Take pink sands, that pink color, and put that in the crease. I was thinking about the sand dollar, but it's shimmery, so not a fan. That's really subtle, but I, I might not be pushing down very hard. It's so cute, I don't want to mess it up. Not a lot of color to it. I'm gonna get the sand dollar color. Okay, so that is very shimmery. Might be a bit of a mistake doing the crease, but rules. Who listens to rules? So, yeah, that's closer to my skin tone, but also that. Very shimmery. So, yeah, not really an ideal crease color, like a neutral color, so that's okay. You can just use it with another palette, you know. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna use the Shimmery Green Siren. Put that on the lid. Taking a little bit of work, like everything is showing up, but it's like you can see the shimmer more than the color. Maybe it's not as crazy pigmented as I'm used to. Like my cat Von D shades. I mean, it's definitely showing up. And it's a really pretty green. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, sea foam in the inner corner before I completely cover that area up. Okay, I'm going to take um, seaweed and deepen up the outer V with it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have used the primer. I don't know why. I'm just being lazy. I thought it would work out. But, uh, 
quite a bit of eyeshadow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can see the fallout, unfortunately, under my eye, but I'm not getting a lot to stick to my eyelid. So. Okay, let's get a different color. I'm gonna go with the under the C, pretty blue. Put that under the eye. Okay. That one's looking a little better. Yeah, maybe it's just that the mats need Something to stick to. Foolish me. Okay, I'm gonna take the Ursula, put that in front of it. It's kind of mixing with the blue, I think. I think it just looks more blue. On the eye. I'm not sure. Or maybe they're just getting mixed together because I haven't cleaned my brush. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So the only color. Oh, that's not true. Let's go to the shimmery pink topless. I'm just going to use every color because why not? They're meant to go together. They're in the same palette. So I'm going to put that corner to go with the sea foam shade. They're like, like a different version of each other. That one's a lot more pigmented. The other one's just like a sheer version of it, the, the sea foam. Okay. It's working out. Just not as easily as one would hope. Put some more of that peach shade back in. I've lost it. Okay. No. I'm gonna figure out where to put the gold. Ah, I can put it in the bottom of the inner corner. So we've got lots of shimmer on the bottom and well lots of shimmer on the top too. So just like all the darker shimmers on the bottom. I'm gonna go back with Ursula because I think I just covered it up. Yeah, gold and purple for Ursula. Definitely works. Some more blue. So yeah, maybe you won't have as much trouble and go back and forth as much if you actually Use some eyeshadow primer like you're supposed to. Yeah, so we got got a little bit of a a double wing going on there. So I'm just gonna go with it. Get the blue on the bottom and the green on the top. Looks kind of cool. Don't think I've done that before. Not that I remember. <laughs> See what I said about going crazy? Happened anyway with the lipstick on. Okay, what am I missing? Let's get more of that dark green. Spot. In between. Yeah. Calm that contrast down a little bit. I hope you can hear me. Try not to mumble. Okay, I see the problem. Got it. up in the crease here, not in the crease there. Okay, I'm gonna blend out a little bit with that pink shade. Darker. Now, I'm gonna get 
get some of the sea foam. Make sure I can get it covered up. And I'm gonna get some more sand dollar. No problem. So I really like these colors. Like I said, I just set myself up for failure by not finding. So yeah, I do have a bit of kickback on the pan, on the palette itself, but it's probably just for me digging in a little hard. So yeah, there's a lot I've managed to do. <laughs> so it's um, definitely some sea witch vibes going on. So yeah, I do really like the palette. I like the design of it, of course. Really, really cute. I just, I will see more what I think when I use it with eyeshadow primer. But, uh, yeah, first impression, right? So I like, I really like their packaging. It's so cute and pretty affordable. So the palette was $30 and I think the lipstick must have been $10 because it would have been $48 and I got the 10 Okay, it was a $10 credit off. But, uh, the, uh, Coupon that I got from Sweatcoin was pretty helpful with that. So yeah, oh, and I got, I think I got free shipping over $30, I'm not sure, but yeah, pretty nice, pretty happy, um, only disappointed in myself, <laughs> but I think this is going to be a really nice palette for summer, so have some mermaid vibes, so yeah, check out Winky Lux. If you think you'd be interested, they have several other palettes, they have um, lots more lip products, and they have other like, single shadows and like, some other base products as well. So, and then also if you're interested in Sweatcoin, I can put my referral link in the description, I believe. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See ya.